I was 17 when I got pregnant with my son Jack. I was distraught. I thought that this was just the worst thing that could ever happen to me. I was finishing my leaving search and I was to go to college. But to tell my parents it was the hardest thing I think I've ever done in my life. Like I was fully expecting to be kicked out. I had everything packed and ready to go. It was really, really hard and they were so disappointed. And at the time I thought dad was very strict, but he was amazing. But anyway, I was in the room that evening and he came in and he started crying. He said, you know, I love you and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And, you know, the, over the next few weeks and months, like I had a Debs to go to and I had to find a dress that fit it <laughs> over a belly. Yeah, once Jack was born, I'm sure that's the best part of the whole story. Sure, Jack changed our lives completely. He softened everybody around him. Like, I'd wish I had known then what he would turn out to be because there's nothing to be afraid of. Like he was, he's just incredible. And I'm just so, 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 so thankful that I didn't, um, that I didn't have an abortion because it was on the cards for sure. It, it just seemed like there was no other option. It was laid out on a plate for me, really. I'm just so thankful that I had him. I can't imagine my life without Jack. Though. My life went on. Colleges are really good for having crash facilities and grants for your kids and. Your life certainly isn't over and your career certainly isn't over. You're going to be okay. It's going to work out. It's going to be better than you could ever have pictured. You have the capacity to love the child that's growing in you more than you know. When you see your son walk for the first time or say his first words, when you see your son kick a ball or, you know, play catch or say I love you, there's nothing in the world that can compare to that.